Hi, it's Tybug, and I'm inside, so I don't really need to wear a mask. But today's look, makeup look, is going to match my mask. So this is the mask I have. Sorry if you can't hear me. I'll just shout! And it's like a neon green with some cows and flowers on it. My, and my dog is barking. Mika! So my neighbor made this mask out of a material I already had. I really wanted to get into sewing when I was like in fourth grade or something. So I got some like <laughs> quirky uh, material and I never ever used it. But then when all this started, my neighbor was like, oh, do you want me to make you a mask? I'm going to be making some for our first responders. So I was like, oh yeah. Oh, I mean, my mom was like, oh yeah, I have all this fabric. You can use it. And now I have some cool cow masks and they have like little inserts for um, filters. So that's sweet. So I came, I mean, I definitely didn't come up with this idea. I'm sure somebody else has done this before. But when I wear the masks, I feel like I have a RBF, a resting, you know, face. And I don't want to make people uncomfortable when I'm like staring at them because they're too close to me, but I also don't want them too close to me. So I thought maybe I'll do like a fun BAM makeup look so I look a little bit more happier. And the good thing about this is you don't have to do face makeup really, it's only just your eyes. So I'm going to be trying to match this. I usually don't do green eyeshadow like ever, so this will be kind of fun. And as per usual, I don't really have like a, this is what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it. So yeah, and look at my cool fan I got for my birthday because I turned 21 in quarantine. Okay, let's get started. So I don't have any base makeup on. This is my skin. I put a little bit of my Bling Cat Soft Pack Powder. It's a Korean brand. And I got it from Tony Moly. Why did I say that so weird? Tony Moly? How do you say it? And I just powdered a little bit because I have sunscreen on because I was planning to go outside today because it's a beautiful day, nice breeze. Um, but there are a lot of mosquitoes in my backyard, so I don't know. And then I put on a tiny bit of the Fenty uh, Matchstick Caramel right in the center of my forehead because I had a little bit of a pimple forming. So I just wanted to cover that up. But other than that, we're bare-faced baby. And I used to have horrendous acne, like cystic hormonal acne all over my face. And this is what my face looks like now. So you know that quarantine glow up? We're almost there, fam. Just some acne scars to get rid of. Anyways, I said I was gonna get started on the eyes. So I'm gonna use the Anastasia Eye Primer. I'm gonna pack this on the regular areas of my I, I'm not going to extend it too far, just going to do the regular, kind of just a little bit above the crease. And my mirror is off to the side, as per usual. And if you can hear like a creaking, that is my fan. It is just deciding to be a little poo-poo today. Let me just peel that in. Okay, so for the first step, I just want to do like a little darker green in my crease. Then I'm going to do a green that kind of matches this all over the lid. Then I'll do like a white island with a little bit of cow print to match my cows. So I'm going to be using my undisclosed Morphe palette. You know the one. I don't feel like saying the name. And I'm going to get my crease brush. I don't remember which one was my crease brush. See, since I haven't been going outside for over like two months now, maybe three now, I haven't done any makeup. Like, usually I have powder or like um, a little bit of base on, but there's been no need for that, so I haven't done anything. And I'm gonna go into this um, green shade here, because I don't want to get too dark, because this is a very light green. And just gonna buff that into the crease. Is that enough green? Like it looks very faint on there, but well, we want it to be able to be seen six feet away. So let's go some bright, brighter. Let's just get it all in there. 
and it's okay if it gets on your little bit little bit because we'll be kind of cutting the crease I don't know what it's called you know I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of primer and I'm gonna just fill that in on my lid because I'm gonna do a light green and a little bit of yellow on the lid I need the mirror closer looks good. 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 I knew this extra Anastasia on my hand would do some good. So let's go in with the next color. So I'm going to go into my NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. And I'm going to get this like kind of sparkly greenish yellow color right there. Because I think that kind of... I don't know. It'll, it'll, it'll look fine. It'll look fine. Ooh, this is a good brush. Where did you come from? I got stained pink from my uh, Cupid look. Yeah, it doesn't have any pink on it. Okay, I'm gonna go in with that shade now. I think I may just need to pack that on with my finger, but let's see if it turns out. I need this mirror again. Ooh, how pretty. Just kind of pat that in. It's kind of getting into my darker green, but I'll kind of work on that crease in a bit to kind of blend it all together. And I'm gonna get, oh, I wish I had a sparkly yellow. I don't have a sparkly yellow. I'm just gonna get a little bit of yellow on my finger and get that right in the inner corner a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go back, go back to that crease shade a little bit to just to blend it all seamlessly. Ooh, it's kind of making a stripe. Do you see that? Like, there's a stripe of brighter green between the. That's kind of weird. The sparkly green doesn't kind of show up sparkly at all on my eyes. It just kind of looks like that lemon color. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see if it works better with a finger. I want the sparkle. Give me sparkle or give me death. There we go. Why did somebody even invent brushes if the finger works better? It's like 90% of the time. Fab, you less. 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 Now for the white eyeliner. Let's line it up. I want to make this a little bit thicker than I usually do my liner because I want to have room to do the cow print. I kind of hate this liner though because it kind of crumbles if you put just a tiny bit too much on. I'm sorry, I'm blocking this entirely, but I cannot do it without it. That kind of works. I'm going to pause so I can do my other line and then I have to wait for the white to dry to draw on with the black. This is the NYX Epic Wear White Eyeliner by the way. I think it's dry and I have white eyelashes because doing this side is not optimal for eyelashes. So now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner I think it's called. Yep. Yeah. My best friend got me this for my birthday so thank you. Um, and now for the fun part of drawing cow spots. Cow spots are so fun because they are not symmetrical. They do whatever they want. They're like a Dalmatian spots and Okay, let's do this. And you're just doing that on the white part because the green part is for the man and the white part is for the cow. Oh my God. How do I do this? People make those look so much more easier. My hands are shaking. <laughs> okay. Let's 
let's see if I can do this without blocking the camera. Are they showing up at all? Like, do they read on camera? Oh my god! That's so cute! Okay. You know what song I'm trying to sing without actually singing. Okay. I love this. Never to get under eye. Do you guys see how much my hands are shaking? Honestly, it doesn't matter how good or bad they look because nobody's gonna be getting close to you anyways. If it's not someone who's already in your household, everyone else should be six feet away, so. Go ham. I love this. I love this so much. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the eye look. Well, I have to do my bottom lashes, but literally. Okay, let me do some little bit of eyebrow defining. We're not gonna do a whole bunch because we are tired and we have better things to be doing than our eyebrows. So this is the Make Me Brow by Essence and Brownie Brow, I think. Just brushing them up and down just so we have a little bit of definition. Because if we took the time to do our eyes, we should take a little bit of time to do our eyebrows. Otherwise, the look doesn't look coherent. Okay, now um, I'll do my bottom lash line with the darker green that we did in the crease in the Undisclosed Morphe palette. I'm going to use this mirror again. Zoom you all up in there again if I zoomed out. And just brush that right along the lashes. Okay, and we are not going to do false lashes. I'm just putting that out there. I don't want to do false lashes. The lash glue just stays on for far too long and we're not going to be going out days consecutively. So you're going to be like home without makeup on with like all this lash glue residue and it's just going to be a pain. So we're just going to do regular mascara. I'm going to use the Kush Milk Mascara and I'm actually going to do a little trick and get this on a Q-tip because I got my lashes all white at the top and I'm going to apply this to the top of my lashes. And don't, whoa. And don't worry if you get extra black splotches on your top line, on your eyeliner, because then that'll just be more cow spot. And now I'm just gonna do regular mascara with the brush to And we'll just do a little bit on the bottom lashes because I don't remember how high my mask goes, but I don't want to... And you get really sweaty underneath the mask, so you don't want to <sighs> melt. Mm, should we do two layers? Since we're not doing falsies, might as well. I think we're done. Now let's put on our mask. See if we matched it up. See, look at Resting bee face. But, how do I look like I smile? Does that look like I'm smiling? So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys are safe, safe and healthy during all of this. And if you guys ever need anyone to talk to, you can message me on my uh, Tidebug Instagram or my Twitter. Or if you guys need someone to play Animal Crossing with, I'm here for sure. 
and I hope to see you guys next week or maybe the week after. I have to finish my finals, so <laughs> it may be a little bit of time. Thank you for your patience and love you guys. Bye!